How how is this? Can you guys hear me? Is everything working finally? Oh, perfect, perfect. This is my favorite, my favorite song of all time, by far. It brings back some memories. Well, I hope everybody's morning is doing fine. I hope everybody's doing well. It's 5 p.m. here, just the perfect time. Perfect time to talk to myself and to talk with all of you. I hope you're all having a nice morning. Let's see. I have a full page. I want to see if I can broadcast the sound the sound of my notebook which is full of notes about a fucking spastic um a spastic i'm not going to be too mean to because that would be bullying and this is not a bullying stream of course so i'm just going to throw this out there uh, don't get mad i will be referring to them in the present tense as narcissa they them pronouns because i know for a fact i know for a fact my friends that Narcissa Wright will be watching in the stream because Narcissa Wright watches everything about Narcissa Wright. So, <clears throat> let's see, where, where do I even begin? I want to thank uh, Melchat Smutley, somebody named Wu, Miss uh, Segenation, uh, Fetal Alcohol Syndrome, and Visitor for providing you with some clips. Narcissa Wright is not somebody that I personally am intimately familiar with. Uh, and I know many of you watching this don't really know all the drama with Narcissa. So don't worry. Don't feel too bad. We're going to be doing this uh, discovery together. In fact, there are some clips I have I haven't had the time to watch all the way through. <laughs> so my reaction to them is going to be uh, genuine in its novelty. Uh, you probably heard the name Narcissa. You probably n heard the name Cosmo before. And uh, somebody asking, is uh, Cosmo stream sniping? Cosmo will probably be stream sniping. Or Narcissa will probably... <laughs> I've already fucked up. <laughs> I've already fucked up. I'm sorry, I don't mean a dead name. I don't mean a dead name. <laughs> I'm sorry, YouTube. Don't... <laughs> don't shut it down. Um... Let's, let's introduce Cosmo, actual Cosmo, though. The, the Cosmo of the past. Now, again, I, I'm bad at computers, so I'm going to try and insert a clip, hopefully so that I can hear it and then you can hear it. So when you start seeing this clip, I want you to tell me if you can, if you can hear it. Uh, let's see, where do I want to start? I have like 12 of these. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's let's do this. This is a, a little bit of an introduction. This is called the Cosmo Hop. Properties. Hopefully, you guys can hear that just fine. So, I know some people are going to be listening to this in the car. So, just to explain this, this is a clip of uh, Zelda and the Woodwinker from way back when. Uh, one of the games that Cosmo became famous for streaming uh and if you don't know what speed running is it's trying to beat the game as quickly as possible so it's kind of showing a trick where you can beat a, a part of the map without losing a valuable uh, quest item that can help you get through the next part of the map very quickly so the little trick he pulled was named the cosmo hop because he was the one who discovered it and cosmo was a very successful and very famous uh, uh speedrunner and was an integral part of the, the community. People refer to him as an idol. A lot of people started speedrunning because Cosmo did it first. And uh, he was, he was well-liked. Cosmo Wright was a very well-liked and respected member of the community. And let me show you a different, a different clip that'll kind of give you an idea of what Cosmo was like just as a person, just kind of chilling out. Uh, where is it? I know you're here. I know you're here. Let's, where the fuck did it go? I literally just downloaded it. Oh, I see. Oh, I remember. I figured it out. This was something I couldn't download because I wanted to show you guys more than just the clip itself. I wanted to show you uh, the comments. So we're going to interact with this. I can figure it out. 
And there we go. My name is Kasson Wright. And tell me if you guys can hear this as well. ALS ice Bucket Challenge. I'm going to dump this over my head. I'm going to donate as well. I'm also nominating Trihex, Worcester, and Runner Guy 2489 to take the Ice Bucket Challenge. <laughs> so that's that's Cosmo with his girlfriend Adrian, and we're going to be talking about Adrian a little bit more in the future. But uh, you know, that's just him. That's just him doing some stuff, being a part of the community. And I, I really wanted to show you guys this as not as a video, but as a, a browser feature because I want to show you guys the comments. The comments to this video are are like frozen in time. It's like when you visit an ex-Soviet city and it's still very Soviet. It feels like it's lost. Lost in time. So let's scroll down and check out the comments for this. Uh, that scream, though, and check out this is four years ago. That scream, though, only the manliest screams come from Cosmo. I don't think he realized how ironic, how ironic that comment would be. Um, oh, the, these guys are making jokes about saving frames and stuff by by doing certain things, and it's just a pun based on speedrunning and how they do tricks to to beat the game faster and how every second counts. Cosmo, Heart, can't wait to see the Worcester, Trihex, and Runner Guy do this as well. Oh god, I want to see Worcester do this. So he's got friends, people know him, people see him as a part of the community. And this was only four years ago, where everybody, like, is your real name Cosmo right? It feels so strange reading these, because these people have no idea what's right around the corner. And it's very sad, isn't it? Isn't it sad? Uh, and it's, it's, all of them are like this. I think this video has has almost 100,000 views, and everybody, everybody's just happy. Everybody's happy. He even says in the video that he's donating the money to charity, and people are like, what a great guy. What a stand-up guy this Cosmo Wright is. Uh, so let me introduce you then to our second character in this study uh, named Narcissa Wright. And I have, I do have an abundance of things I can show you for this. So let's show you. Let's go with this because I think this is adequately. As so T eighty percent shifts back to VCJ, my mind wanders to the S adapters, and to the virtual console that doesn't crash when Gim is performed, and to the old Kakariko route, resetting the console to save time, and to the timing method, the arbitrary. If you're wondering, I also have no fucking wanders. idea what this is about. To the homebrewed Wii, the region freed WAD, to the replacement joystick, to the Hori mini pad. I can't. The band, I think this is like a slam poetry place. thing. I, I really have wanders. no fucking idea. To the practice, the process, the save state, to the game shark, the game saver, the gecko code, to the cheating, the splicing, the policing, the audio waveform, my mind wanders. To the timer, the inconsistency, the drop frames, to the bitrate, the capture card, the interlacing. To it's the about the how depressing this being a speedrunner. Well, he seemed to be having a good time zone. when he had friends and wasn't a fucking freak. These adapters are subtle, invisible, already in use. I see the grand decentralization of it all. My mind wanders. <laughs> the IQ player, the fast memory card. I just, the old I just like computer, how it's set to Zelda. <laughs> it's the sloppy it's port, just so bizarre. The HD remaster. To the PAL cartridge, the patched glitch, the Japanese text speed, to the turbo controller, the rules, the rules, all the categories are arbitrary. Perhaps Mark Supiel said it best. Do whatever you want. There are literally no. Yeah, rules. I think I think the poetry is the just about how he's not having fun anymore doing game. this. He's not Riding having fun, attempts, and it's all so abstract. You know, it's it's not the something that he that he does for enjoyment. It's just something that he does my mind wanders. because he does it. And uh, it's kind of gay. RNG. And my thought is, if, if you're not having fun doing something, don't do it. Maybe he's just too, too into it now. It's been too long. It's been years, and he's still a part of it. He doesn't feel like he can do anything else. But, you know, I know for a fact, if I was doing something, no matter how long I've been doing it, if I stopped enjoying it, I would stop fucking doing it, like, immediately. But, I mean, that really sums up everything that there is to say about Narcissa. Over the years, he's stopped enjoying streaming, he's stopped enjoying uh, video games, he's stopped enjoying Let's Playing, and, you know, there's, there's a reason for that. There's kind of, I have, again, I have my, my handy-dandy notebook here of all the clues, all the clues as to what happened to Cosmo. Let's start, 
let's start with the simplest story, I guess. I'm just going to go ahead and drop this in and uh, read parts of it. This is something that I've not read, but I know it's important. So, uh, Transform, fit the screen, there we go. This is going to get out one way or another, so I'm just going to come out and say it. Cosmo and I aren't together anymore. It's mutual, we're in different places in our lives, and it's best that we separate for now. I originally was going to wait to say anything, but unfortunately people are pushy, especially since I haven't been around in the past few days, and I feel uncomfortable with the idea of lying for friend for weeks on end. Uh, yeah, it's just everything else is, is woe is me. This is the person who was laughing in the other video, and Adrian is actually alleged uh, to have cucked Cosmo. As Cosmo, not as Narcissa. This, uh, Adrian left before the transition. And the story goes that Adrian wanted to dump him. And he couldn't handle that and said, look, let's just go to an open relationship to make things interesting. And the result of that was Adrian openly flirting with people at these speedrunning events. And it became kind of public knowledge that Adrian was fucking around with other guys while, while they were together. Uh, the end result is Cosmo was pretty crushed. Needless to say, but this is only one of four parts. Uh, this, I mentioned the uh, speedrunning community and how he was widely accepted into that and a well-liked person. Uh, but that in itself changed. There were some, some shifts in regards to his perception there. And I'll play this clip. This clip is of Cosmo talking to somebody named Totodial Dundee. And this is what Cosmo and Totodile were, were talking about. And this is this is right before the transition as well. Do you think it's productive to call me a whiny faggot, Totodile Dundee? What's the point of that? What's the point of saying that? Like, great fucking contribution, man. Fuck you, asshole. Jesus Christ. I'm just done with this shit. That's a very small clip, but his, his relationship with his peers in the community kind of soured, and, and that had a large role in affecting how, how he felt about streaming. There was another event worth mentioning. Uh... His friend, female friend, Rachel Brake, threw herself off a bridge and she died. And that, this, this is like four different things were happening at once. You had the cuckening, you had people in the community being rude to him, you had his girlfriend walking, or that's part of the cuckening, but you have a female friend killing herself, and then widely attributed, this is, this is considered by many to kind of bre uh, be the breaking point in, in the Cosmo to Narcissa transformation. And uh, it's painful to watch. I, I don't know how much commentary I can give over this because it's quite loud. I think many of you who know about Narcissa already know what's coming. And while this probably isn't the straw that broke the camel's back, it, it, in, terms of, uh, in terms of the theater of life, I, I think this is. I think this is. So for those of you who are watching or listening in the car or something, uh, this is a Nintendo World Tournament uh, live event. So they're standing there in person playing this game. This is the release of Super Mario Maker. They're making custom levels and trying to speedrun it as much as possible. So it's a it's a head-to-head -head competition with John Numbers and Cosmo Wright, two very famous people in the, the speedrunning community, uh, attempting this live for the first time. And John Numbers is absolutely fucking destroying Cosmo right. Cosmo has not beaten the very first trap, and John Numbers is already on the second stage. Ground pound. 
now. John looking like he's taking his time. Played it really I, I've been corrected. John Numbers is a complete yeah, unknown. Yeah. So he was not it's famous. He was just a stranger who happened to be competing at the live event for the first time. Nobody knew who he was. Whereas Cosmo was very famous already. And so this, this defeat is especially crushing. Because again, John Numbers is just absolutely shitting on Cosmo. And uh, Cosmo is still stuck at the very first... Uh, very first uh, uh, trap while John Numbers is now on the third the third stage now for those of you wondering this this is several minutes <laughs> I'm gonna watch it all because I don't want to skip through it I just want you all to grieve <laughs> <laughs> Let you to grieve. You don't have an option. Because think about think about Cosmo right now. Think about how Cosmo is, and uh, how he feels. Because he's still at the first trap. He is still at the first trap on the first stage, and John Numbers is already halfway through the third stage. It, it is. It is. It's embar. It's hard to watch. It's embarrassing to watch. But he does not give up. He just sits there. And this is live. They're standing next to each other on a fucking stage, and this is happening. And thousands of people are watching this. And yes, this is the, the public reveal of Super Mario Maker. Um, so the, the Nintendo guys put together some custom stages in the software to show it off, what it could do. And they had some of the, what were supposed to be some of the best Mario players do it live in front of an audience for the, the title of the Nintendo live event. And John Numbers is absolutely destroying uh, Cosmo right now. The modern Mike Tyson versus Buster Douglas fight. <laughs> no, there is a face cam for those of you who actually want to see what Cosmo looks like right now. They're, again, they're standing on a stage next to each other. And when, uh, when this is over, they will actually meet each other on the stage. And that's what I want to wait to. I, I, Ooh, I, I think this was 2015. I don't know for sure. Again, John Numbers is almost at the end of the, the final stage, I think. I think he's about to... There's a Bowser at the end of the stage. There's Bowser. And uh, Cosmo is at the second stage while John Numbers is basically kicking Bowser's ass right now. Bowser's down, the bridge is cut, and he is the winner of the Nintendo World event. There he is, some guy no nobody knew until today. <laughs> he, he, he looks like Waluigi, like a real life Waluigi. <laughs> There was Cosmo, still is Cosmo, perhaps the last, the last uh, appearance of Cosmo, right? Now the comments on this video, by the way, are some of the best on YouTube as well. Because, uh, like, they're just like, have you ever beat somebody so bad they became a woman? <laughs> it's just every comment is some fucking brutality just like that. Uh, no, he, he's not, I'm killing myself. He's, I'm cutting my dick off. Actually, you know what? That's a great segue. You know what a person needs after a shocking defeat like that? You know what they need? <laughs> uh... They need a big bottle of Soylent. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, everybody knows, everybody in chat knows that the soy is coming. <laughs> the, 
Okay, this is... Ooh, do I want to get into this before I get into the high score? Yeah, let's do it. I want to talk about the soy. I want to talk about the soy. And I can't turn on Super Chat because I don't have a thousand subscribers. So please, please subscribe so I can I can get a couple pennies a stream. <laughs> um, no, this is an actual real life picture of Narcissa Wright's fridge packed to the brim with soy. And I, I want to know, chat. I want you to tell me, chat. Do you think that weirdo trannies are attracted to Soylent, or do you think that Soylent is a poison that turns you into a weirdo tranny? I, I want to hear what you guys think. Is it? Uh, press one for trannies like soy. Press two for soy turns you into a tranny. I've seen a lot of twos. Oh my god. Oh my god, the twos. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. Yeah. Oh, I should. I'm gonna. You know, I'm gonna go off strip script. I have. I have something I want to show you guys that. Is on to is, I guess it's on the topic of soy. Um, it's yeah, this is off topic, but I definitely I, I definitely want to watch this with you guys because I think I think we're in the mood. I think we're in the mood for it. Let me switch over my audio. Get rid of this. We're gonna watch a video together. <laughs> For science. Hi, I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson. So this is this Black Science is Man, and he is with uh, the, the owner of Soy. Who is founder and CEO of Soylent, a meal replacement product. Is the audio fine? Everything okay? In the tech universe. Rob, welcome. Thank you very much for having me. Soylent. How old were you when you started? So this guy uh, is the is an engineer. I'm going to skip through some of this. This guy is an engineer who invented Soylent. And uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson is basically... Oh, you can't... Okay, let me cut it back up. Years ago, uh, we've grown substantially since then. That's crazy. How was this? How was this? This is a huge market. So how did you get initial funding to do this? So did, were you using your savings to... to okay, perfect. Your Let's get through this. I don't want to hear their, their hello. He's basically saying that he's an engineer and he knew that people in uh, the tech industry really wanted to have a meal replacement. So they're kind of just going through and they're talking about it too much. Uh, should have had a time code ready, but... ...much more difficult than to have something that tasted strongly of cement. So <laughs> this will define forevermore what Soylent tastes like for me. Okay. Yes. Okay, here. <laughs> he doesn't look like he's enjoying it. <laughs> A little, some of it reminds me of kale pectate. For diarrhea, you take kale pectate. This doesn't have the same function. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to have, actually I have to have Firefox open, uh, I think, for it you know to, it to sh stream. The urge to participate in this brilliant exercise in food is not bigger than wanting this to taste awesome. Yeah. You know, we have another flavor. I, I don't know. To me, it was just funny that uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson was, was streaming with this guy. And he basically says that they made a drink that has no flavor whatsoever, but has a lot of nutrients. And they're, they're saying, like, this is like the cure to hunger. If we figure out how to get the macros and the micros just right, we can replace every meal with this. And if there's a catastrophe, we can airdrop Soylent on a beach and everybody can drink it. And I don't know. My mom is like a weird witch. She, <laughs> she's like a witch who really likes all natural shit. And she hates the words food engineer, specifically for shit like this. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. I don't know if it's unhealthy or healthy or not. I wouldn't drink it. And I wouldn't let anybody I love fucking drink it. But I can't say for sure if it's poison or not. Probably is. I don't trust this guy. Look at him. Looks like a killer. <laughs> See if there's anything else in this. Screaming kids. No, but you're, you're <laughs> when like, I see an actual teacher, it's <laughs> like, oh, I'm not worthy. Oh, but you were like the world's coolest teacher. Yeah, this you interview know, like, is awkward as fuck. No, by I the got way. good material. The universe, <laughs> the universe is good. See, I think material. this is a good part. You think that's the future? Absolutely. And you, you got the full, as you would say, the vertical integration of the production of this. 
in mind. Exactly. That's, you, and that's is that, is that the, you think that's the future? Absolutely. Eventually, I'd like to get to the point, and I'm focusing on protein right now, uh, to produce everything with single-celled organisms. Calories comes from, from the sun at some point. Oh, plants take yeah, he's basically saying that he wants to completely remove all the plants and animals involved in food production and just make it some kind of vat that produces the shit that you need. I don't know. I fucking hate this shit, guys. I really do. I don't trust it. Get it out of my face. Don't like it. I don't, I don't trust that fucking guy to put everything into my body that he says I need. I just don't trust that shit whatsoever. Yeah, no, it's literally bacterial slime for fucking, for people like Narcissa Wright to subsist on, and it's just sad. Uh, oh, <laughs> let's, let's get back on track. We're talking about a crazy person. Um, let's see what Narcissa has to say about, about Sway, guys. Let's see what, what, what they have to say. I just got my coffee shipment in. I was gonna say in the mail, but it's just like these big boxes. It's like a shipment. But yeah, um, I'm about Cut to try out. it. And I have not refrigerated it or anything. This is I got just, you, I got um, you, it's coming back up. This is just trying it unrefrigerated. I know it probably tastes better when it's refrigerated, but it doesn't is it still too quiet? that much, so. No, I don't have their first coming out as Narcissa. Nobody sent me that clip. If you want to post that in the uh, Discord chat and at me, I would really appreciate that. I would love to watch that for the first time with everybody. Oh, there's no lid on it. The regular Soylent has like a, has like a, um, um, right here there's like a seal, and there's no seal on the coffee. All right, well, it's a different color. And it smells kind of like coffee, and it smells kind of good. They have the biggest front teeth gap I've ever seen. Like a fucking chipmunk with that shit. Look, she's chugging it. Chug, 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 chug. <laughs> oh my god, they're downing the entire fucking bottle. <laughs> He's going to correct him. <laughs> I <can't. laughs> um, that was really good. It helps with dilation. <laughs> it's like that Sargon clip. Narcissa need more so, soylent, more I estrogen. How feel, but um, it has caffeine and. L-theanine? I don't know how to pronounce this, but apparently it like... Hey, what does it do? So this is like the worst product advertisement I can ever possibly think um, of. You know what I mean? Like, would, it, would Okay, if you were Soylent, would you want your product associated you with this for? person? Yes or no? What? One for yes, perfect advertisement for Soylent, and two for no. Uh, don't, don't want your product anywhere near that thing. And somebody sent me this. <laughs> I see a lot of ones. I see a lot of savvy businessmen. <laughs> I, guess the, I guess that's the target audience, right? If you want to look like Narcissa, right, you fucking chug that soy. You chug that soy because that's what's going to make you into a beautiful woman. Uh, there's actually two ingredients to being a beautiful woman, to be honest. It's, uh, first is the soylent, but second, you need a little bit of medical assistance sometimes. Need a little bit of help. Uh, I'm being told that this is how they came out. By the way, it wasn't a video. It was it was this this uh, eulogy, <laughs> this tw this tweet eulogy for Cosmo Wright. Everybody, press F. <laughs> press F for Cosmo Wright. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Uh, I'm chugging something too. I'm chugging sparkling water. Here here in the motherland, they don't have bottled water for some reason. They only have carbonated water. And there's a bunch of different brands, and I've tried them all out, and I now have my favorite brand of carbonated water. Um, but, you know, Narcissa had something to gain 
<laughs> no, it's not Soylent. They don't allow Soylent in the motherland. Putin, Putin doesn't want Soylent. He knows what's in it. He knows that they're turning the frogs gay with the Soylent. The, um... <sighs> Cosmo really wanted a sponsorship. And I threw this on the foreground. Let's uh, throw it in the background. This is a compilation of... from I think from Reddit or something, where they're basically like... Sponsor me, Soylent. Sponsor me, Soylent, because I imbibe your product, and I love it. And uh, for years, actually, I think for years, he was trying to get sponsorship from this company. Was tweeting at them for, for years, was sending them emails, and eventually they got a response. Now, I've not watched this video from start to finish. I kind of know uh, what's inside of it, but... um. <clears throat> I've not watched it from start to finish, so we're gonna, it's only a couple minutes, we're gonna watch this together, my friends, we're gonna watch it together. I'm gonna get faster at this one day, but for now I've just gotta stomp my fat fingers around to try and find these videos. Uh, there we go. Soylent video, that sounds promising. Wow, alright, check out this exchange, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so here's the first three emails of the exchange. Move the server so, so this is that me face, to Soylent. That beautiful face. <laughs> I, heard sp I heard Soylent sponsors gamers. That's really cool. I pretty much live off Soylent right now. Ha ha. And um, I don't know how the sponsorship thing works or whatever, but that seems really cool. I stream on Twitch and I've done a lot of amazing gaming things and want to continue to do more amazing things. I think being sponsored would be kind of cool. I don't know. I don't know what being sponsored even means, but I was told to reach out and so here I am. So that's the first email from me. <clears throat> so this is this is uh, Narcissa trying to get sponsorship with Soylent on top of all the tweets and other contacts okay, they made. Okay, so I get a response back. What does Soylent got to say? Hello, I'm Connor, Soylent's brand marketing manager. Currently we sponsor a few streamers and there's four links. Basically, we would want to know your average stream numbers and if we can hammer out a monthly cost slash product that works for both of us so we can set up a streaming partnership. How does that sound to you? Um, so that's the response to me. And then I was like, it's like, oh, they want to know about my stream numbers. So here's the email oh, no. I sent back to them. Oh, no, Narcissus. Like, no, wait a minute. <laughs> ah, my average stream numbers, dot, dot, dot. I used to be the biggest speedrun streamer on Twitch, oh, no. averaged 5,000 plus with Zelda speedruns. But I had to take a step back and reevaluate what I enjoy about streaming, doing a lot of self-reflection. So I spent a year playing Smash Wii U. What the came fuck? Out as trans, lost, lost most of my viewer base. The, I probably get this like is like a, a red now, flag. Like, like don't sponsor me. Although Whatever like you do, do not sponsor me. Setup, I can really get going on my passion projects, and the numbers will rise again. You probably didn't want to hear that. I'm a spoiled bitch who does as she pleases. Oh, I no! I go back and play something I don't enjoy anymore. So that was the email I sent to them. <laughs> yeah, is Soylent made from people? Because I think Narcissa has that brain disorder you get from fucking cannibalism at this point. Want to go outside? You were all done here. <laughs> it's very apropos. Uh, whatever the fuck they call that imp. Oh, is this the end of it? I hope that's not the end. Narcissa, tell me your secret. Did you get a rubble? Well, they didn't want me to play anything in particular. They just wanted high numbers on the stream. And I was like, well, my numbers aren't high right now because I refuse to, like, bend to other people's will. But <laughs> I'm going to fucking be huge in the future. That's basically what the point of the email was. And by the end of it... Even better you know, help like, doesn't want to... <laughs> yeah. You can have a month of free Soylent, but... Or I think they wanted me to like 
I don't know. They just gave me a month's worth of soy land and that's it. Only a month. Only a month. It's like a it's like desperately craving the nectar of life. Uh Kretzfeld Jacob disease. Yes, that's the cannibalism disorder when you eat like neurons or something. <laughs> it starts giving you the shakes when the cannibals in Africa start getting the shakes from eating people. What else I got? What else I got? Oh, I have completely missed over a little bit of side drama. Uh, this is this is a bit of an aside, but I think people will like it. Let's just take a look at something real quick. Um, okay, so this is more of a story than the than a feature. What happened is when Cosmo first became Narcissa, right? They uh, wanted to make a high score table because again, they're still a part of the Let's Play community or the speedrun community. And a huge thing that motivates people in the speedrun community is. Uh, having people show off your high scores because what's the point of getting a high score? What's the point of breaking down a game to the molecular level so that you can beat it in a couple minutes, something that should take you an hour, uh, if you don't get to talk and, and share your, your stats? So Cosmo got involved in starting up a high score site. And one of the sites that uh, Narcissa owned the, the domain to was zeldaspeedrun.com. Is it zeldaspeedrun.com? Zelda Let's Plays.com. But Narcissa did not manage it and uh, eventually fell out of, of favor with the people who did run it, all while advertising that they were going to make their own high score table uh, for, for speedrunners at some point. Well, after months and months of not putting out their high score site, somebody named uh, Chronikeys made their own called congrats.io. And event when they put this site out, Narcissa took it personally and got their fans to harass uh, Chronikeys into taking down their high score table. Um, and gave speedrun.com or speedruns.com a blessing instead of putting up their own, at least for a while. And when they shut down, when he shut down the Zelda Let's Plays.com site, he actually went ahead and bought like Zelda Let's Plays.org and .net specifically to stifle them out of. Uh, ever being able to rehost their community. Well, the speedruns.com site that they uh, had endorsed actually picked them up. And now I think it's uh, Zelda speed, Zelda.speedruns.com. And I think that takes you to the site. Yes, it does. So Zelda.speedruns.com is where they migrated to after uh, Narcissa decided to fuck with them and take down their site arbitrarily just because he, he happened to have the uh, domain name for it. Well, Eventually, scorned, but not giving up, Narcissa made their own high score table just to kind of try and rub it in. Uh, let's see what that looks like real quick. Hello, YouTube. How you doing? I've uploaded 30 Mario Maker levels now, and I plan on uploading a lot more. And I've created a website where you can see the rankings for my levels. You can see who has the records. And currently Jumpman is in the lead. And I dare you to get some prestigious speedrun world records, world records on my levels. So if you're interested in that, then check the link in the description. And that's pretty much it. Happy 2016. Look at that face, baby. Look at that face. <laughs> it's like, it reminds me of that book from when I was a kid. I think it's called Where the Sidewalk Ends. And there's that really creepy looking uh, thing, long haired thing with a weird looking face that, that's super pale. I don't know what it's called, but that fucking face with the, the color white out and shit is just too much. Um... Yeah, people say there was a drama with other people that were running high score tables. I ate your pie, I think was the name that was mentioned in chat. But basically, uh, Cosmo or Narcissa went out of their way to fuck over absolutely everybody that they could uh, on their way out the door. And the result of that is absolutely nobody wants to be friends with them because they did as much as they could to uh, ensure that nobody wanted to be around them. Let's see, I got some other stuff. Let's, <laughs> let's, uh, 
I mentioned before this wasn't a bully stream, right? We're not bullies here. We're just talking. We're going over some history. Speed running is very important. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I have the balls to do this on live stream, but I'm in the mood to humiliate myself. So let's go ahead and do it. I want to. Uh, I want you guys to join hands because we're gonna do something. We're gonna. We're gonna pray. Because sometimes, sometimes a person can't get help. They need supernatural help. And we all need to join hands and pray to Yahuwah to expel this demon from this poor child of Yahuwah. Demon, leave this child. Be gone, demon. Be gone. Hallelujah. <laughs> he is cured. The spiritual healing. <laughs> I just just in case, I don't know <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard. <laughs> but at the end of that, he just farts. He just farts. <laughs> Uh, when I first saw that clip, I, I about fucking pissed myself laughing. It's uh, the greatest fucking thing I've ever seen. Uh, let, let me see something real quick before before I continue, because I have a couple more a couple more things I want to show. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and watch some more clips. I got uh, the downfall on my on my handy dandy notebook. On the handy dandy notebook, guys, I have the downfall. So let's play some downfall clips. As if that wasn't depressing enough. As if that wasn't the downfall in and of itself. Uh, okay, I'm going to play something. Nobody else... <laughs> nobody, nobody tell anybody about this, okay? Ooh, yeah. So this is Cosmo, a man. Just, just, I'm putting that out there. This is a man live streaming. This, this got Cosmo in some trouble. This, this uh, male creature. Um, this actually got them banned from Twitch. Just, uh, just between you and me. Now we're gonna go back to Narcissa, who is a woman. That was Cosmo, who is a man. We're going back to Narcissa, the woman. Uh, this is... Oh! Narcissa, the woman, still does live streams, right? Well, what is Narcissa, the woman, live stream about? Well, sometimes they play games. Sometimes they literally, uh live stream uh, themselves sleeping, which got them banned from Twitch as well. Oh yeah, they, they showed porn on Twitch. That got them in trouble as well. Uh, I played this last week, but let's, uh, let's watch it together again, because I, I think it's, I think it's short. Short and sweet. The, this is what they do. And they're kind of enveloped in this, this shroud of supporters who encourage them no matter what. I don't know if you can see that chat on the right-hand side, but there are people like, you know, this is okay. It's okay to cry. It's okay to have <laughs> sad moments. I don't know why they're encouraging them to do this. Um, Narcissa actually goes out of their way to ban people who are supportive of them while allowing trolls to flourish. So the moral of the story really is don't ever support Narcissa. Um, and, and the Discord link is in the chat, is in the description. Um, but they just go through and they, <laughs> they read things that make them miserable and they don't make any changes. The dopamine hit of getting attention. <sighs> getting attention is like chugging down a bottle of soy. It's the most pleasurable experience that a person can have, that a woman can experience. The moral of the story is don't drink soy. <laughs> it is funny just to think of it like that. Like, it's just soy. If he didn't drink the fucking soy, he would have been fine. All you had to do, Cosmo, was not drink the fucking soy. 
You know it was turning the frogs gay, Cosmo. You knew. I warned you. <laughs> and since this stream doesn't have much conversation, I'll drop this on top. It'll be a double feature. We'll get, we'll get twice the content, the quality content. This is uh, username of Wu, who went ahead and compiled every one of those YouTube links that you see right there. That is actually a... Uh, a video by Cosmo, by Narcissa, on uh, on YouTube that they made reading Kiwi Farms and just replying to post. So, like, I guess that's maybe 12, 15 different links that are just this shit. A response to Warsmith Kroger on Kiwi Farms. And it's just them, them reading shit that makes them miserable, but they don't do anything. Narcissa makes no changes whatsoever to their uh. life. They, they just cry and read the fucking forum. I don't understand. How, how did somebody who was so well-liked, who was so beloved in their community, stoop to this? Is it just the soy? Can, can soy do this to a person? Let's, let's move this out of the way so you can see that crying. I want you to see that crying, guys. <laughs> Poor thing. Poor thing. What can you do? I think um there's one last segment. One last segment. One last thing I can go over before I call it curtains and or actually I want to take on some people. So I'm gonna show this last thing um and then i'm gonna actually right now on the discord channel if you join the discord channel i'm gonna change the uh the settings on the call line so people will be able to join the call line real quick and then after that we're going to go ahead and uh watch an introduction to the latest phase of the narcissus story still evolving and if you're on the discord channel it's the top one that says call line it's above everything else Okay, uh, let's take a look at something that somebody made for Narcissa and, and this, uh, this latest phase, the latest and greatest phase. I hope that's it. I don't know why I named like three different things intro song. Oh, no, that wasn't it. I'm glad I didn't play that. <laughs> there we go. This is the good stuff. Blood sports is the only way forward under late capitalism. What's up, motherfucker? Uh, the latest and greatest addition to the IBS is Narcissa Wright. In, in, the, wing, in the ring, weighing 85 pounds, 50% soy by volume, it is Narcissa Wright. You guys better watch out. You saw how, you saw how Cosmo Wright paired up against John Numbers. You guys are fucked. <laughs> You're talking about a real fighter. <laughs> um, okay, this one, one guy, I talked to this one guy right before the stream, and he showed me this to kind of give you an idea of, I, I had no fucking idea Narcissa was actually doing this, uh, but apparently he is, and uh, there's a little clip that I have just to kind of show you what it's like to be in the Narcissa blood sports. This ain't your Ethan Ralph shit. This ain't your fucking Mr. Mediocre shit. This is, this is Narcissa fucking right, doing it right. I need to hear the logical debate. Okay, Give here. Me listen, listen the fuck up, Henro. Shut the hell up for one fucking second. <laughs> he sounds like a girl. <laughs> oh, no. I don't give a fuck if I sound like a girl. 
listen, okay, this is what you need to fucking do, all right? Okay, I want you to, I want you to, you, see that little phone button? That little phone button right there with the X on it? Yeah, I'm yeah, angry, press bro. that right the fuck now. What's with all these underage kids on your server, uh, oh, that's so weird. You got all these underage kids working with you. It's oh, hey, weird, don't uh, you I think? don't think I'm underage. I just turned 18 a couple of days ago. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, so how about you fucking fact check things? I'm pretty sure that most alt rightists like yourself don't tend to do that. Your Infowars bullshit. You fucking alt writers. So you have you have Narcissa. You have Narcissa, uh, and there. I guess can we call Narcissa a groomer? Is that is that appropriate language now? Are we gonna call people who have an army of uh, sub eighteen year olds? Doing shit for them groomers, because I think that's that's more of a groomer than than Mr. Mediocre. He needs to step his fucking game up, because Narcissa Wright's kicking his ass with the grooming game. <sighs> All right, uh, there's actually one. Uh, there is one other thing that I wanted to do, and I might look like a fool for doing this, but we're gonna do it anyways. This, this is Narcissa Wright. <laughs> right now, live on air, I'd like to introduce you to Narcissa Wright. This is what they do every day. And actually, I'm surprised they're actually playing a game. I know they play a lot of Splatoon. Uh, I haven't personally seen them play Splatoon. It's usually literally just Narcissa Wright staring like that, like they're doing right now. Staring at the camera with an almost sort of like dead-eyed look. Um, and, but when they're not doing that, they're either sleeping or they're playing Splatoon. All that shit about fucking speedruns and shit's over. <clears throat> I'm also really sad that, uh, for a while there's usually a, uh, a counter. Like, literally saying how much money they have in the bank account. And, uh, like, counting down, like, if you guys don't give me money to replenish my bank account for the next month, I'm, I'm not going to be able to do streams anymore. And people do it. Those fucking 18 year olds that you just heard, they actually fucking do it. So that Narcissa Wright can drink Soylent and stare dead eyed at their camera for 16 hours a day, literally. <laughs> uh, wow. What a mess. So let's let's try to take a call. I'm gonna take a call and we're gonna I want you guys to tell me if they can hear him. Let's start with I don't trust Dynastia. Dynastia, what are you doing? Hey, Josh. What's up? Hey, Josh. Hey, what's up? I've never heard you speak before. This is actually quite strange. You get to share this moment with yeah. two hundred people. <laughs> just something to say? That's weird. There's an echo. Oh no, I just wanted to say. Uh, yeah, I wanted to say Melcher is a toilet slut. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe I can't believe you waited that long just to say that. That's yeah. pretty much all I had to say. Thank you, thank you, Dynastia. Yes, Melchet is a toilet slut. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Nobody, nobody except people from the forum is going to know what that means, and even then, like half of them <laughs> don't know what that means. Yeah, take it easy. Uh, Akujen, Akujen, what's up? How's it going, man? Pretty good. Can people hear? Let me check. Can they? Uh, can they hear the uh, the Discord? Say something. Uh, it's okay to be white. <laughs> people would disagree with you on that. I, your name has literally broken my display, and I can't <laughs> I can't fix it because it's so fucking long. Yeah, yeah. To fix that, you'd need to fiddle with other things yeah, that's that fine. you won't have time to do now. Do you have an opinion that, on Narcissa? Oh, that's just fucking tragic, man. Do you feel bad? Do you feel worse than you did when you started watching the stream? I I do. I feel, but I I'm <laughs> you've witnessed a the death more. <laughs> I now have all of my um presupposed ideas about soy confirmed. Oh, so you're on the side that thinks it's a poison that's killing people and making them weirdo trannies. Oh, yeah. Did, did you read that thing that I linked you? No, I in, didn't see in it. In the chat? Is it a... It's, it, 
Oh, the witch? Uh, literal... <laughs> no, 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 not the witch. I'll throw that up so everybody can see what I'm talking about, because it is pretty funny. Yeah, uh, it's literally poison. You say there's a study? Uh, yeah. Um, it's, uh, where is it? Here. It's from Harvard, nutritional source. It's literally um, produces estrogen-like qualities in the body. What the the soy? Yeah, most people know that soy, soy. has has a slight estrogen effect. I don't know. Like I heard, it's good for prostates and stuff. I guess when you drink it to literally replace your meals, it's a bit too much. Yeah, well, you know, you take a male body, you pump it full of estrogen through soy, and you get this. You get the the wicked witch. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All right. Well, I'm going to mark you down for, for anti so I Thank you for calling in, Akagen. It's always nice talking to you. No worries, man. Let's see. Let's go with Manly Chicken. Manly Chicken, what are your thoughts on our Narcissa? Oh, you're muted. You know the rules, motherfucker. Make sure your mic is unmuted. I'm not going to wait on you to fix it on the air. Valkyria. Cool. Oh. Hey, man. How you doing? Pretty good. What's up? Oh, not a lot. Just watching this Miss Havisham shit show. Do you have any uh, any particular feelings about Narcissa? Oh, gas it. Gas it. from orbit. Oh, gas it. Nuke can't, from orbit. You can't talk about anything, gassing Narcissa. You can, you can beat him up in Minecraft, but you can't gas him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no rods of God here, damn. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, we don't call them toilet sluts here. We call them shitter critters. Um, they're the hookers that hang out in the toilets at uh, strip clubs. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> D Dynastia's thing with the toilet slut is like, I don't know why. People just started calling Melchett a toilet for some reason, and they still do. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's, not, it's not, no, she's not like a, a shitter critter. She's literally a, a slutty toilet. That's the, uh, that's just the a slutty toilet. <laughs> that's the, it's like that SCP about the slutty doorknob. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oof. oof. That's cute. Yeah. Thanks. No, Anything um, else? No, just soy is cancer. Uh, switch as quick as possible. If you're one of those people who's fucking drinking it like it's milk, don't. Do you have a have a product suggestion? Uh, almond milk. Almond milk. That's a good pick. Almond milk <laughs> doesn't produce phytoestrogens in the body. It's great shit. All right. Well, thank you very much. <clears throat> Take care, buddy. Uh, um, I, I see Alpha God in the call line, and Alpha God was the person in that last clip I played with the Internet Blood Sports. And, uh, yeah, they probably have a lot more to say, so I'm going to save them after I take a call. Let's go with, I guess, Visitor. Visitor! Yo! What's up? Uh, I just, I just want to say I'm here entirely of my own volition uh, to say there's nothing wrong with soy. Keep buying soy. Keep drinking soy. Do you also love the nation of Israel? Yes. I just I came here to just to clear up there's some disinformation going down on the stream and I, I just can't have that. Disinformation. Soy is good for you, drink as much as possible, and uh, God bless Israel and God's chosen people. Is that the gist? God bless. <laughs> Alright, well thanks for calling in. Uh Okay, let's go with Honest Taco, I know that name. Honest Taco! All right. All I want to say is that I want to espouse the truth about whole D milk. It's the best milk. Fuck, fuck your almond milk. Fuck your soy milk. What's whole fuck D any milk? Other type of milk? Just, just the whole milk. Oh, whole no vitamin milk. D milk. <laughs> I was like, yeah, what yeah. the fuck is a is a whole D milk? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, it's like it just, I just say whole D. I don't know. I just like it has a big fucking letter D and it's red. Well, here, like, here, just... I'm. I happen to be a milk aficionado, and when I first moved here, everything's in fucking Russian, right? And I'm trying to find milk. It's called Moloko in in Russian, but I didn't know that. And I was looking through it, and I kept buying the shit called kefir. I'm like, this milk is fucking bad. Why is this milk? Why is every bottle of milk here fucking bad? And then I realized that kefir is literally sour milk that they sell and people drink, and it's apparently good for your digestive system. But I wouldn't fucking. Isn't drink. it? Uh, isn't that like fermented milk? Like people get drunk off that shit, like in Kazakhstan or whatever. Oh god, I have no fucking idea. I'm sure they do. These people here are crazy. <laughs> 
Well, I hope you enjoy your your stay at the Holiday Inn. <laughs> <laughs> the Holiday Inn. I'll drink as much uh, whole D Molico as I can. Thank you. Thank okay. you for your tip. Okay. Um. Oh, speaking of Russia. Привет. Hello. What's up? Привет. Как дела? Как I just want to call you <laughs> for this in kefir. <laughs> I'm glad we have fucking uh, uh, representation here to to talk down my. It's it's fucking. How do you drink it? Do you actually drink that shit from the bottle? Yes, yes, it's great. Oh, you fucker! It's really good. Fucking that's some suka suka blia. Okay, Marcisa is a beautiful woman, and you should all appreciate her. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, another to drink more milk. Another one of God's chosen people, this time from Russia, to espouse the lies that kefir is good milk and Narcissa writes a beautiful woman. Thank you. Thank you, G-D. <laughs> <laughs> yep, take it easy. Uh, let's see. Woman, oh wait. Woman disrespector. Woman disrespector. Three, two, one, and okay, sorry. Rook. 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 Rip. Freedom. No, oh, you're muted. Stop being muted, you fuckers. Drunk Jedi Master. Hey. What's up? Oh, I remember Cosmo back in the fucking day. I actually played games. I go, why does this faggot have his nails painted? Why? Did he um, have his nails painted back in the day? Oh, yes. <laughs> that's kind of gay. When yes, I, I, that's exactly my thought. <laughs> when, I was, uh, when I was a teenager and I worked fast food, I fell asleep one time with my friends, and one of the girls I was with painted my nails. And I, I came into work <laughs> to pick up my paycheck, and my boss was like, Josh, why are your fucking nails painted pink? <laughs> I just said, <laughs> I'm finally as beautiful as I feel. That nigga about drop laughing. It just reminded me of that. Of my childhood, back before the Kiwi Farms, when I could paint my nails and walk into a, a Whataburger to get to get pay stubs. But yeah, uh, yeah. Thanks for calling in. <clears throat> I think I've called everybody else already. I moved them out. Alpha God. Alpha. Hey, I'm right here. Just yeah. give me like five seconds. I'm actually trying to convince uh, Cosmo to get on here. Oh, yeah, if Cosmo wants to come on and talk, I'm all for it. How, how exciting. I guess I should hide this picture of right. Narcissa next to the witch. All right, I'm done. <laughs> that picture, uh, that's a killer picture right there. That's pretty good. Did you say you're blocked? Oh, man. This shit is just too much, dude. Yeah, is, are they going to get on, or did you say they, they blocked you? Um, I don't. I don't think. I don't think he's gonna get on. Did he respond, but, uh, or did he not respond? He, he was trying really hard not to respond for the past. Uh, well, ever since he started the stream, he he knows he checks the Discord. It's like you said, he has his eye open. I'm sure. Open. I'm, I'm sure he's that. watching that. You've only this motherfucker's only got nine viewers. I'm gonna post it and chat myself. I'm I'm doing this. Hold up. Yeah, well, I tried to tell him that you were streaming his stream, and I don't know what his deal is, honestly. Yeah, people are using, uh, sh I use she, I'm sorry, I know I did. <laughs> I, it's like walking on fucking mines around here, because I don't know what pronoun to use at any given time, it's a fucking mess. But how long have you known Cosmo? Because you're somebody who, uh, who appeared like, to... Like, uh, a couple, what, has it been now, like three or four months or something? Whenever he did that, uh, uh, B.O.T., what is it, Breath of the Wild stream? He just constantly gets trolled and shit, and I just... Fucking around, so I was just going on the chat one day, troll typically trolling like an asshole, and he's challenging people to go in and talk to him. And I did, and you know, this guy's a fucking human being, but he's really losing the definition day by day. Um, y y the more you try to like understand him and, and reason with him, the more you feel lost yourself, you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, so sometimes you just feel like you want to give up and stuff, but I, I think it's to 30 years old a lot of the stuff he's did and doesn't regret he doesn't feel like or he doesn't show any 
uh, aspirations to change. You know what I mean? Every pe every person he's surrounded with are all trying to like keep him down and just tell him like, oh, it's okay to do nothing and be nothing. And uh, what did kind of shock me though is that I mean it did take practice, but he ended up actually listening to some sort of critics and whatnot. There is that little bit of doubt, but not enough to to like call for any drastic change, dude. Like he's done this. This fucking it's just too much, man. It honestly opened my eyes with like the trans, the trans shit and the fucking video game shit. It's just I don't know, man. It goes deep. Yeah. Well, you said you did. You only start uh, following Narcissa after they did the IBS stuff. Is that why you were so interested in that? Well. I I called him in before there was blood sports, and then uh, I told him, I was like, there's nothing bad with confronting the people that disagree with you, you know? I, I feel like that's the one thing that he, he didn't do. And so some random guy called in and was like, oh, yeah, you should, uh, like, monetize the autism. Like, I guess the idea was to make blood sports and have everyone call in and humiliate the trolls, you know, make the trolls look bad. Yeah. yeah. But that didn't work out, obviously. Right, sit around for a second. I'll pull in the other four. Yeah, if you have any actual, like, because I'm fucking, I'm a spastic and I smoke a lot, but if you have questions, just, an like, ask me and I'll fucking answer that shit. Let's see what other people got. They might have a question. Woman disrespect her, you're muted. Never good at this. Three, two, one. Real Kraut. Hello? 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 Yes, let me just uh, turn off the stream. Okay. Uh, hello. Hi. Uh, don't drink soy. Just avoid it. Do you know? Do you, do you know any victims? Because this is like the third person to call in just to say, "Please don't drink soy. It will fucking ruin your life." Do you know? No you... longer by name, but uh, I, I've seen I've seen people who drink that stuff who haven't turned into these things, but I've never seen someone drink that stuff who isn't a cuck. <laughs> it's, it's like, you know, it disables certain thought processes. I don't know how. Yeah, I knew. Okay, this is a true story. I'm a. Uh, I knew somebody who was an administrator of my fucking website named Katsu Kitty, and Katsu was just like a little dainty gay boy when I when I knew him, and very technically wise, uh, kind of awkward, uh, but decent person. I trusted a lot. And they started drinking soy, and now they're a woman. I want to, I, I want to, yeah. I, I've lost somebody. I've lost somebody to fucking soy. Uh, press, press F for Katsu Kitty, everybody. He went from, went from just a little queer to, to a fucking freak of nature, and it breaks my heart. Uh, the, for, for one, that, and um, if possible, eat, eat your meals with, with onions. With onions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, onions, onions are the cure. The the cure onions if, are anti soy. If Cosmo just started fucking eating raw onions, like in uh, Holes, the movie Holes, where they're at the <laughs> they're at the very end on the mountain and they're eating onions, if it was like that, he'd be he'd be back to Cosmo in a week. But yeah, thank you. Is there anything else? No, no, that was, that yeah. was it. Take it easy. Ratko Falco. Hello. 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 Yes. Oh, cool. You gotta, you gotta take. Um, remove soy from the premises. <laughs> I'm starting up a legion of people who just want to get flamethrowers and burn down soy crops. And apparently, the U.S. makes a ton of it. Like in Cal, I think it's in California. We just produce more. We export soy to China. That's how much fucking soy we make. And I guess that's why California is so fucked up. They got all that fucking soy around there. They put in all the food to make it cheaper, and it, it turns them all into fucking weirdos. I mean, it's so crazy how. Like soy, a few years ago was like normal, but now it's all like fuck this. Yeah, when when you thought of soy, you thought of uh, like Chinamen eating it for for nutrients and shit. But now you just yeah, exactly. think of, of like crazy people trying to cut their dicks off. Now it's all like you can drink it, and then you turn like your girl, all feminine and shit. Crazy. Oh. And Metacris, I don't speak Russian. I'm trying to learn, but uh, <laughs> I don't actually speak it. But yeah, uh, anything else besides uh, besides the soy? Hang to CEO. No, say that again. Um, 
Hang it, like, remove the CL as well. The, the CL? No, it's CAO. Uh, Rob Reinhardt. Oh! <laughs> oh, so remove the CEO. Yeah, the CEO, the, the fucking weirdo that was talking to the black science man. <laughs> he's, a, he's a peddler of the, of the poison. All right, well, thank you. Take it easy. Uh, be before you bring other people on, I actually have a couple of things to bring up. Sure. It's funny, sure. I forgot completely about the shit before you even brought me on. I wrote down like three keywords. <laughs> the first one is trans internet weeaboo culture. What the fuck? There's something up with the internet. Uh, not everyone agrees with uh, what I think, clearly. There's a lot of people that are right-wing or left-wing or whatever the fuck. But this whole, like, uh, kawaii, like, fucking trap anime, like, shit is fucking cancer, dude. Whatever that is, like, if you don't pace yourself with the shit and you don't just recognize it as some sort of, like, hobby or culture and you drown yourself in it like R9K would, you're part of this fucking narcissist problem. Well, I it's don't. Not just, I don't know if anime has anything to do with it, but I, I can I can only imagine why a bunch of dis dispossessed weirdos who stay inside it's all day not like to watch exclusively anime. anime. It's not. It's the fucking people that it's will. Peter, adopt, it's like Peter Pan you know? syndrome. It's like uh, you know, when you're depressed and you you don't feel at home at home, you're thinking, well, God, if only I was in Japan, everything would be different. If I was in Japan. I just have never met anyone that was really sane up there that loved anime and manga in real life. Everyone that like they fucking have the little books and the little fucking, well, fucking uh, like, Jim like, watches dolls anime. And shit. What's up? I'm pretty sure Jim watches anime. Oh, okay, okay. I'm not talking about watching anime. I guess more like the fan. Does, is he like oh. a fanboy? Does oh yeah, like no. Everybody. Let me just put this. Small put anime a, girl. Picture. Yeah, I'm gonna put the blanket statement out there. If you have an anime avatar, you are fucked beyond comprehension. There's something wrong. With yeah, it's world. like that. It's not <laughs> the idea. Like watching something. Watching whatever the fuck a cartoon or liking something that's not bad it's it's the fucking adopting it and, and like distorting it you know it's fucking weird man it just sucks that that's what the culture picked they picked uh trans transgenderism or whatever the fuck they picked uh like kawaii like cutesy fucking shit like what is it was it shoda and fucking what's the other one yuri or whatever i don't fucking know this is all, it's just all weird degenerate shit that I think uh, people used to make themselves feel better. Like, oh, someone else does it? Like, that's all right. We have a whole Discord full of people that just share these fucking... Yeah, I, I got a notification from the forum. Somebody with an anime avatar is displeased with my statement. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise. It's okay. He's, he can watch his cartoons to cope with it. Um, then uh, the, how the, I guess the politics are also like a fucking, like, identifying factor to the... For yeah. some reason, the things yeah. people like, like when I confronted Cosmo, all his uh, enablers or fans, they all have this sort of. And Cosmo says I'm, I have a hive mind, right? Which uh, I, I could I could agree with, and that's fine. But for some reason, they're yeah. I, I saw it in that stream the the guy basically called you an Alex Jones person, which came out of nowhere. But yeah, and, and I don't watch, I don't support Infowars, or I don't care about it. Honestly, I don't mind it. Yeah. But my thing is, uh, I can say, or I can admit that I'm part of a hive mind being like a hetero, you know, wanting to have kids or wanting to own property and stuff like that. Having a normal fucking life, like, fine. You know, you can't really shame me for that. That's the but worst tell, kind. Yeah, but if I tell these, like, fringe group of people, like, there's something wrong with sitting in the computer and, uh, and doing all this shit, and then on top of that, like, representing this weird, like, uh, this weird sect of leftism that, that they think, uh, that they think is worthwhile, you know, and it just makes them look bad, dude. They're just digging their hole deeper. They're ruining their politics. It just gives yeah. them, it just gives people like me more space to shit on them about. Yep. Okay. And uh, yeah. let me continue. I want to knock these last three out. Uh, yeah. Bomb, bomb, wolf, looker. I think I got that right. That, that was, that was close enough. He didn't <laughs> want to move me in just because he didn't want to pronounce that one, right? No, no, no. I, uh, I, I think I, I hope I didn't leave you waiting too long. Nah, it's it's okay. Uh, so so I forgot. I I've heard you're jealous because my wife was cuter than yours. Uh, I've never talked to any European, so I don't know who you are. That's fair. No, uh, listen, boys. What I'm interested in is what do you do when when your when your son comes to you and and says to you, "Daddy, Daddy, I wanna I wanna be a woman, Daddy." What do you do? What are you talking to me? <laughs> I don't know. I just give me some input here. Who are you asking, though? I think I that if you're sure. a good parent, it doesn't get to that that point. It never happens. Yeah, you never exactly. have that conversation <laughs> if you do it right. There was a guy who was defending uh, like trans rights and stuff on Narcissus Discord, and he was a dad. 
I just use it as bait. I tell him that I'm married and I have kids, and I'm not. <laughs> but uh, he said that he had kids, and I was trying to convince him, like, would you think, uh, what do you think of this? Like, would you let your kid be influenced by someone like Narcissus? And he immediately backtraced or backstabbed. And he's like, no, no, of course not. Uh, you're actually, you know, I made him think twice or whatever. So if you, if you're pro trans or pro whatever degeneracy this shit is, don't fucking have kids. Uh, you you do realize you do realize that you won't have full control over that your child at all times now. Are you trying to tell me that my child is going to come out trans no matter what? No, <laughs> I'm just trying to I'm just trying to inform you about the nature of our civilization. Well, like Josh said, if you're a good parent, your kid's not going to do that. Yeah, well, that's until the. I, I think the, I think what happens with that's trans people. That's dude. Dude, look at Cosmo. He's a fucking wreck. He says he has a great with his parents, but I don't think so. No, I think he, if you uh, are he trans, he's feeling about some trans. divorce his parents went through or some shit. I think he hides the emotion like a lot of these people do. I think if you're of trans, course. what happens is is you feel like it's easier to be a woman than it is to be a man because men have to take care of you. That's just my thought. Yep. Yeah. No. Absolutely. I, well, what causes that? that? I suppose females are, are looked at as uh, looked at as some sort of superior sex in our society because of the way they have they hold so much reproductive power and and are looked after by the media and everything in general. They are praised for every action, women quotas, etc. Are you just playing devil's advocate, or do you genuinely think that most children are have the tendency to become trans? No, of course, I don't I'm think just, most children do. I'm just playing. I'm just playing it. I don't so actually. What are you gonna do when you have a kid and he says, "Dad, I don't like Europeans. I want to be American." Uh, guys, come on! I don't want to get stuck on this. Uh, thank you for calling in, Wolf. Anything else? Yeah, okay. No, I'm, I'm done for now. Goodbye. Yeah, take it easy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, insomniac turtle. What up, dude? Nothing much. What's up? I just want to say, I miss Cosmo. Now, are you an old, an old follower? Yeah. Have you yeah. followed Cosmo all the way up until recently, or? Pretty much. I haven't really watched uh, Narcissus stuff, but yeah, Cosmo was the best, and now he's kind of dead, and it makes me sad. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Did, I mean, when did you start following them? What year? Uh, I don't know, a long time ago. Like, God, like, dude, like, don't make this sound like a funeral. <laughs> it is a I funeral. Mean, like, Press F. It <laughs> kind of is, man. Like, it's bad. But, like, like I watch a lot of his Ocarina stuff. Pretty much just, like, really all of his speedrun stuff. I was around for that. And then kind of just disappeared. And I was like, damn. Are you a part of, like, the broader speedrunning community? or? Yeah, well... There's not many speedrunners around anymore that I watch, really. I mean, like, there's some, but I feel like a lot of them kind of went away. But I used to watch a shitload of speedruns. A lot of them went trans, right? Yeah. And now they're all just... They're, a lot of them were weird. <laughs> and it made me sad. And now they're all gone. Except for uh, Clint. Clint Stevens. He's my boy. <laughs> Shout out, Clint. What does he play? Uh, Super Mario 64. Just out of curiosity, I noticed in the chat somebody mentioned the the Cosmo Hop, that little trick I showed at the beginning with the uh, the Wind Wind Waker game. Uh, do people call it the Narcissa Hop now? Do you know? Oh God, I I don't even know what that hop is, but I would hope not. I would really <laughs> hope not. I've heard that uh, Narc wants it to be called the Narcissa Hop, but not many people are obliging <laughs> it. That's sad. It's pretty. That's sad. really sad. All right. But so, yeah, that, that's all I have. That's all I wanted to say. Well, thanks for calling in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear your community has fallen to shit because of fucking weirdos yeah. like Cosmo. <laughs> it's upsetting. All right. Bye bye. Yep. Take it easy. Hey, Josh. I just mm -hmm. had a question for you, man. How do you feel? Uh, because I noticed you try to bring a lot of people on to talk, but some of them don't have their mic set up. Yeah. Or they just yeah. don't know how to talk so good, you know, or well. Like they don't. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't have some sort of presence. Does that bother you? <laughs> no, you just uh, you cycle through them. Right? I guess so. Uh, the question is, do you have a lot of people that you know online, maybe through Kiwi Farms or whatever the fuck, that are actually social? A lot of people are social. Um, I mean, these these aren't Kiwi Farms people. I imagine a lot of them are. I know I recognize a few names, but many of them are coming from like uh, the Killstream and stuff. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I don't I don't doubt most of them. I guess it's just uh, it kind of makes me cringe when I. I feel like uh, when they type, they seem very, uh, like they have a presence, and then they get on the voice, and then they just stutter and crumble. Well, even I um, have a when weird I was on voice. The it's just something that you nah, have you a have good on. voice. <laughs> you're, 
Drew, you got you got your own thing going. S- such a such a flatterer. I, I think visitor <laughs> visitor. Well, I was again. I was saying that because when I first got on Cosmos Blood Sports, I didn't really know what the fuck to talk about, and I understand why people do that. Uh, it's just like a practice, I guess. It happens. Visitor again. Hey, I just had to come back on to comment on like this, uh, like kawaii like anime tranny cult thing global mm-hmm. like, corpo homo it's there's there's something to that like th- this really reminds <laughs> me of the, <laughs> it really reminds me of like the zeus Aegis thing that happened like just a little while ago like, that all that came out this is like under the surface like bubbling just under the surface and people need to like like if you're involved in like the anime community or whatever you, you know however whatever form that takes like if you're in these circles like, watch out for this shit. Well, it's the same with like, the furries. The furries are all fucked up, and they make everybody who joins and is just like a, a it's regular... It's this weird like, fucking degenerate, like, basement internet shit. And, and there's nothing... Like, that... In a way, that kind of made the culture, right? Yeah. It's just people... These younger kids... There these was a thing with uh, R9K wasn't there, where R9K... That was the thing that really spooked me. Like, R9K had, like, a tranny cult on. or something weird. There was this little Discord server that people would get invited into, and they oh you had to you had to share nudes with them, right? <laughs> oh, you're talking yeah, about yeah. the uh, fuck that I know. And they would blackmail you with the nudes, and what's uh, the guy? Oh, R- Reiko or Reiko or whatever, <laughs> something like that. And, and yeah, you they would make you take uh hor- like go on hormone therapy or something. Well, uh, that's the problem. So the they content... wouldn't send this stuff to your family. Like that's that that's that's obviously not like. That's like one thing, but I think the whole thing that I'm talking about is bigger than that, and it's not. It's not all. It's like yeah, it's like it's a psyops thing. It, it, the problem is like the content isn't inherently bad, right? Like you can watch Naruto or whatever the fuck Chinese cartoon you watch, and that's fine. But when you have the, these group of people that will prey on 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 someone that has like the tendencies to do what you do, as far as being like a shut in, as far as being like this uh isolated like male like cosmo would be that that's scary that, that's beyond it's it's cartoons. Pre- there, there are predatory people that's like that. politics like that's some that's big shit and, and that's why uh, i don't know i think that's why stuff like this happens though honestly like the stream right now <clears throat> we're talking about cosmo and shit all right anything else it brought us here I, i'm sorry for being so quiet I'm, I'm trying to trying to get narc to join i don't think they will but i want them to yeah, <laughs> i i hope they do because uh it sucks uh i like i said uh i did the blood sports thing then i stopped watching for fucking however many months uh and when i got on he just seemed a little bit more unkempt and a little bit more crazy and uh when he when he talks uh, outside of his enablers if it's like a one-on-one conversation you can probably get through to him, but the problem is he's so locked away deep in that fucking castle of his. He, he doesn't, you know, he always says he wants something but doesn't do anything. And Narcissa it's just doesn't this interact loop. with people in, like, a real way anymore. Like, you watch, you watch like, Cosmo here, uh, the interaction with the chat, and he's he seems so much more, like, direct. And now it's, like, veiled behind this well, character. I don't know. It just nothing, nothing seems... You can't really take anything he says is like at face value. Like he's trying to give an impression more than he is trying to like just speak his mind. Well, the problem with that is like the uh, the same thing with the the degenerate content. Like at the beginning, it's it's all right. It's just content, but towards the end, it's a slippery slope. You end up falling into this fucking hole if you let yourself, at least. You know, like, there's transgender streamers. He would let himself have fun again. Exactly. He's like, him and his enablers. He's not letting himself have fun. Yeah, it's him and his... And and it's funny because I think I actually got him to understand a little bit. He's been uh, broken a bit because of that paradox that I've laid out. Uh, I always use the word, like, hetero and... uh, and uh, alpha <laughs> it's yeah. kind of just like an identifying real quick i'm alpha. just gonna i'm gonna join the free-for-all channel if you guys want to follow me and i'm gonna let you guys talk anybody that wants to talk for the next five minutes or so and then i'm gonna close it down because i am i am trying to get them to to join and then i I, I would really i would really love it if i get them get them to join so I'm yeah that'd be them. good hi Val. hey buddy that's hey. right about, <laughs> about narcissa fuck that's a face and a voice that could Make a diamond go flaccid now. <laughs> yeah, as I think you said that in chat, and it is. It's like Nark does not look like a woman. They looked like a goofy weirdo when they were younger, Dude, a guy. Scary. But... You better be nice. You better be nice if you 
Mm. I put a ginger wig on that thing, stick it down in a sewer grate, give it some red balloons, it'll abduct kids. Yeah, I, I, I would, yeah, I would it love is. it. I would. Yeah, yeah, Josh. You to. You, <laughs> our good friend Kenny Jones is in. Uh, I'm, I'm so sick of Kenny. Can he go away? He's going to start stalking right. me now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know he's, trying to get his next he's, he's stalking you now. Josh he's sent out. out. Uh, and he's like, hey, Josh, I'm here. I'm not sending any outlines. Can he go away? <laughs> it's not <laughs> happening. <laughs> Have you ever noticed oh, yeah, how long it takes for like did Margaret? Oh shit, now it's a put glasses on. Oof. Sexy. Uh, <laughs> to make it look better. Sexy. Detracting from those harsh lines of its cheekbone and jaws. Yeah, somebody said that the audio is chopping, that's just my computer <gasps> dying. <laughs> just so you know. Oh, I know, you I know what right. we can do. We can get Kenny to meet up with Narcissa. Dude. Oh. That's beautiful. I like it. Just so you guys know, I actually befriended Narcissa, and, and he's dealing with this paradox of uh, someone who doesn't agree with uh, anything he believes in. Oh, God bless his little heart. This shit has been going. This shit has been going. Come on, you have enough content to keep this stream going. Thanks, Cosmo. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great, though, if Cosmo came on? Oof. I don't think they are. I, I've been playing job. it. I've been playing it in the background. I had to cut it off because it was causing audio issues. But like that dead, vacant fucking stare. That's literally what they do all the fucking time. That's their entire that's stream. stream. And it's for it's for nine hours a day. Yeah. He does that for nine hours a fucking day. Yeah, with less than ten viewers. They could talk about day. the engine that the game runs in. They could talk about the history of the developers. Like they, they call could do it all the sorts, Stare. They just, they just stare. <laughs> Like they've got fucking PTSD or something. Yeah, it's really sad. It does make me a little bit sad. Hey, so that Discord you were talking about earlier, where they like take someone's nudes and cuck them into HRT, is that really a thing? Yeah, that was. I don't believe it. I don't. I don't, I don't, it, oh, I don't think it is. I was around there at, at in especially in the R9 gay servers, or well, not servers in the threads. And I never heard anything about that nope. until like all I, went on. I can board. actually I can actually confirm that there's a secret cabal out there trying to trying to turn four channels into <laughs> fucking trannies. Oh, yeah, it's it's, it's not a secret yeah, thing like a, even. If if you go, you, I've um, gone on LGBT before and there's people that are like threatening saying, Oh, yeah. if you don't go on HRT or if you don't go on, get SRS you're gonna kill yourself. I'm sure, but they're trying to push to other board. Like, even if that's the like belief of any like, fucking trainee, dude. dude. Like, they're like, all they're so they're 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 All right, guys, guys, calm down one at a time. I do think, yeah, they do say that they're they're really. I think they want to drag down everybody to as miserable as they are uh, in terms yeah. of. Yeah, it's so weird. There's no organized movement per se, but they all just believe the same shit. And every fucking straight guy that is too straight, they're just all like, oh, they're trying to fuck me, and it's so no. fucking cringy. No, they're actually doing gay discord ops. They're actually doing gay They're Discord ops. Gay Discord ops. Yeah. It's literal gay. Yeah. It's it's literally literally it's fucking psy ops. Guys, come on. I, I think I'm, I'm, I was holding out. I was hoping that Narc would come on, but I don't think it's happening. Because they're just... Yeah. They're he, just dude, dude, listen, listen. He's going to come on. You just, or she's going to come on. <laughs> you just, she wants you to fucking beg for it. He's fucking weird like that. I'm not going to beg for it. You can fuck off. Please. <laughs> please. 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 I'll, I'll, I'll buy you I'll a year's worth of soil if, if you come I'll on. Suck your oh. oh god! <laughs> I'll, suck I'll, suck I'll buy you a full year's worth of soil and Narcissa if you come Jeez. on. <laughs> How about that? I would, uh, would ask him in chat. I'd be like, Narcissa, it's your boy skinny <laughs> penis. <laughs> Wait, did did he actually say that? I, I like on the stream. I have the stream muted. Did he say that? Wait, say, no, I, I told him that a couple times. I'd be like, does it turn you on uh, if I say I'll choke you and kick you in the ribs? No, okay, that's gay. You might as oh well just God. fuck him at that point. <laughs> that's, like, that's really gay. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Coming from a faggot, too. Like, yeah, 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 power cage. That's that's what it's coming to. I'm going to I'm gonna have to cut it there because I don't think... like they'll, You know what they'll do? Narc will probably watch this and do like a, like a reaction video to it, but they're not going to come on live. <laughs> not gonna come on live. So. I love you, Nark. I want to suck your feminine penis. Dude, he's like at crossroads. He two days ago he was suicide baiting and he was serious. I think uh, I think he was serious this time because it was there was no viewers and it was like four in the morning. Uh, 
<clears throat> I mean, you can do it in mind. Is it a crossroads between suicide, between stopping streaming, having a normal life, uh, a stay streaming and becoming homeless, or I think just fucking. I think I they'll I've pull got a, like I've got a few questions for Narcissa. Like, how do you get into the rafters that you hang from to sleep at night? Do you use a scissor lift or just incantation? <laughs> they can turn into a bat and fly up there. Ah, oh, there you go. See, that incantations. All right. Well, I'm going to cut it there. I need to add one dilator. And... Do you use a bowling pin as a dilator? <laughs> no bully. No bully. Thanks, guys. Yes. Okay. Now that it's nice and quiet, let's let's do one final video for those of you who stuck through with that. My my favorite video, probably of all time. And let's call it a wrap. I'm I'm out of my out of my mind out of my fucking mind. I'm I'm out of my fucking mind out of my fucking mind. I'm I'm out of my fucking mind out of my mind my mind my mind my mind. I'm out of my fucking mind out of my fucking mind mind. I'm out of my fucking mind. GG golly oh my. I was doing fine once upon a time till my brain left and it didn't say bye. Don't look at me wrong. I'm out of my mind like Lady Gaga, Bobby Fisher combined. So paranoid of espionage. I'm watching my doors and checking my blinds. My brain's vacation they're telling me and I'm bipolar to the severity and I need medication apparently and some electrocompulsive therapy. I am a rebel but yes I'm so militant still I am eligible for disabilities. I am psychotic but there is no remedy. This is not figurative. This is literally. These people so dumb I go to the mental facility. See, man, I'm so out there, I slap fives with BT slap fives I don't need a feature, they don't want me to eat a mala cart when I'm on the speed If you feel the same as me, then you gotta agree I'm out of my mind, out of my, out of my mind, out of my fucking mind I'm, I'm out of my fucking mind, out of my, 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 my. I'm out of my m m mind, out of my mind, my mind, my mind, my mind, I'm out of my fucking mind, out of my fucking mind, mind.